When you talk about the Wagner College Port Richmond partnership, and specifically Port Richmond High School, you're talking about the vision of a crazy college president who believed that the college kids needed to impact an area of great need in New York City. It's a college and a university's commitment to the common good to uh, dedicate themselves uh, civically to, to the community around them. It's a wonderful opportunity for both the college students and for the, the community members to collaborate, to work together. They are working their way down, hopefully, to the elementary school level. We want to give every student uh, at Port Richmond High School uh, access to the college experience. They are willing to help you succeed and that they made it see, they made it that I wasn't on my own. To be honest, I didn't think I was like I was ready to go to college and they really helped me. Like I feel that I am well rounded because I have the experience from Wagner. Purple, it helped me develop my character because I went from being overly shy to like being more outgoing. We want to see a community help itself rise and, and elevate itself up. We think the path to that is through a college education. This nation is changing dramatically. It's in a horrible, divided way at the moment. It's not going to be that way forever. And the leaders of this country are going to come from neighborhoods like Port Richmond. Port Richmond High is really doing some amazing work. We wanted to show how it fits our larger vision of equity and excellence. So this is about changing cultures and by bringing the college directly to the high school level so that they feel that connection right from the beginning. Thank you Port Richmond and thank you Wagner College. Thank you Wagner and thank you Port Richmond. Thank you Port Richmond and thank you Wagner College. Well, there was, a, I think, a pent-up energy in Cincinnati, um, you know, four or five years after uh, the riots. The community knew that a programmatic approach was no longer going to work. Um, there were some amazing programs that emerged out of that tragedy, um, and they've had tremendous impact, but the question that people wanted to answer was, how could we actually take these amazing programs and spread them to as many people as possible so that every single person had what they needed to succeed. And people started to pull together and realize maybe what we needed to do was be very intentional about achieving a, a, a very core set of outcomes. Kindergarten readiness, early grade reading, middle grade math, high school graduation, college completion. How could we organize around that? Uh, and once there was that recognition, uh, and the sense that we could do better uh, by working together rather than apart in these silos, um, then that's when the partnership was really born. The first uh, rung of the Strive uh, pipeline, if you will, is early childhood. And uh, from its inception, they've been very focused on early childhood as the contributor to the rest of a child or an individual's success educationally and in their careers. It is not typical to see a community that would stick with something consistently for this long and then realize the fruits of their labors by seeing outcomes consistently improve. And it's that commitment uh, that makes Cincinnati a leader right now in social innovation, not just through the Stride Partnership, but through other efforts in workforce and urban development and homelessness. Cincinnati is thriving right now because people have seen that by working together, they can achieve a better result. small area where concrete and brick make home for the bruised, broken, and tired, where the empty building steps are reserved for those who just want to sit down, drink a beer, and talk about their day, starting conversation with how you been fam, without blood needing to be a reason to give them that title. I am from empty lots and empty stomachs, from Bud Light cans and Newport cigarette butts. I'm from the broken windows and unlatched doors. It felt like home because that's all we do. We want to be the Camden that everyone remembers, the Camden that is recognized for the rise of potential, not for the rise of crime. I'm from Camden, where alleyways are more populated than homes. 
We're all categorized as one, like a big name brand or label. Camden was the city that people wanted to visit. But you know what? This place they call bad is the place I call home. Behind all of the violence, the killing and discrimination, there is so much talent. But we can't be heard because there is too much silence. I want to go to Rutgers, New Brunswick, and I'm a major in mechanical engineering. I want to go to Rutgers Camden to be a biology major. And I want to major in chemistry with a minor in business.